Okay, Assalamualaikum and greeting to all. This will be the last video for uh, chapter 4.3. Okay, which is this is 4.3 part 10. Okay, uh, after we have determined uh, knowing what is uh, equipment uh, and also supplies. Okay, we need to considering on uh, several factors that will influence on the selecting of the storage uh, supply and also the equipment. Okay, basically there is a three main uh, factors uh, that you need to consider. Okay, number one is the need for storage supply and equipment. So you need to do a need analysis. Okay, need analysis, which is keperluan. You need to look into uh, apa keperluan company you. Okay, if your company deal with the some number, a large number, uh, you might have a uh, several uh, several storage uh, supply and equipment that are uh, uh, possible or it's suitable for that particular volume of records. Okay, the second one, okay, you need uh, you need to think on the availability of the storage. Somehow, uh, you need that. Uh, storage equipment and supplies but it's required you uh, to buy from the overseas so the availability of that storage equipment and supplies will also influence in your selectings and lastly definitely is about the cost all right so let's we have a look one by one okay uh, each of these factors will be further explained in the next slide Okay, so the next one, uh, the first uh, factors here needs for storage supply and equipment. There are four things to be discussed here. Okay, you need to look into the kind of the record to be filed and controlled. Okay, you need to look into the kind of record. Okay, dalam bentuk apa, jenis apa. And then uh, the frequency of use, kegunaan file tu, berapa kerap you guna file tersebut. Okay, the numbers of people working and the file at, at the files at one time. Okay, a bilangan staff yang akan bekerja pada waktu-waktu tertentu. Okay, contohnya daripada pukul 8 pagi hingga pukul 5 petang. Okay, there will be how many numbers of staff. Okay, this uh, even because of the space as well. Okay. Right, uh, the next one is the volume of the record to handle in the given period of time. Okay, maksud dekat sini adalah bilangan, uh, uh, volume dekat sini adalah bilangan. Maksudnya bilangan record yang you akan handle dalam waktu-waktu tertentu. Okay, how do you know? Actually, once you have established ataupun you knowing, that's why you need to do a survey or the interview to the other uh, companies who have a similar type of your company. Okay, mula-mula nak, nak buka company, definitely you don't have any idea. That's why you need to interview and get uh, the information from the other company who have a similar uh, characteristic or the nature of the business. Okay, the next one uh, is about the method of filing that best suit to handle the, rec uh, the record itself. Okay, some people that we use the alphabetical, alphabetic. Alphabetic, okay, when you talk alphabetic, uh, drawer and also the open shelf will be uh, suitable. But for the numbers, usually people will use the shelf, okay, open shelf. That's why you need to know whether you use what type of the method of the filing. Alphabetic, numeric, subject and the others. Okay, the next one is the type of charge out and follow up system use. Okay, charge, uh, charge out, you will learn details in uh, last chapter which is chapter 6 okay after this we have chapter 5 and chapter 6 will cover about charge out okay charge out meaning set macam mana bila orang pinjam record tu apa yang you nak letak dekat uh, tempat tu untuk menunjukkan record tu dipinjam dan apa system follow up yang you guna alright and then the next one will be the transfer method this one you already learned in chapter 2 we have two type of transfer vertical and perpetual transfer and the next one, the security and the retention requirement of the record. Okay, is there any uh, specific special uh, or specific uh, security uh, for securing of the uh, record itself? Okay, you need to think about that. And also, the how the uh, how you organize and distribute the record. 
Okey, macam mana awak susun dan juga macam mana awak manage uh, pembahagian rekod tersebut. And how you are going to deal uh, ataupun in charge on the retrieval part. Okey, pencarian rekod kembali. Okey, number two, the uh, this is the second factors which is you need to look into not only needs but the availability of that particular storage equipment and supplies. So, here when we talk about availability, uh, we have a several type of um, storage. Okay, this is more toward on the storage equipment. Okay, we have vertical file cabinet, shaft file, lateral file cabinet, tube file, suspension file, carousel file, high density file, which is the mobile shaft file. Uh, some of it might have in Malaysia. Okay. Uh, benda tu ada dekat Malaysia Tapi uh, certain certain uh, storage supply and equipment This equipment uh, tak ada dekat Malaysia The availability is not here So this is this, the examples of uh, what uh, the equipment that have in the textbook Okay, this is a lateral cabinet Okay, we have a solid drawer And it, the, next, uh, the next picture is on the open drawer Okay when we talk about the lateral cabinet, remember lateral cabinet is uh, the combination. Okay, the combinations of the top access equipment and uh, side access equipment. That's why kalau you lihat dekat sini, kita ada side access, kita ada top access. Alright? Okay, the next one is uh, still in the lateral cabinet. Okay, this is example they have with slide phone panel. And this is with the drawer and slide panel. Okay? And this, okay, mobile file units, okay, if you look here, is similar like the, the, the traditional one, uh, cabinet open shelf, okay, but there have, a, as you can see, there is a railway and there is a no space in between because when you want to go for this side, you will, op you will click this button and it will open for you, okay, when you want to close, it will be closer and it will, uh, this railway will help you, uh, will help the, the rack, Ataupun the open shelf uh, move from one part to another part. Okay. So, it might be uh, exist in Malaysia. Okay. But the, we need to know the supplier for this equipment. Whether there is an availability in Malaysia or not. Alright. And this is another examples of um, uh, the mobile one. But we call it the automated carousel. Automated carousel means inside here. Instead that previously you boleh gerak-gerakkan like this mobile file bergerak but this one dia bergerak tapi dia guna automated which is dia akan bertukar contohnya this one kalau you perasan dia macam hanging dia akan bergerak ke belakang and then this one akan turn to this side alright and this is the the more traditional uh, sub, uh, equipment at which we have flat file this use flat file usually untuk uh, penyimpanan volume record yang sangat sedikit ok the numbers of file yang sedikit nipis Right and box stor uh, storage suspension file. This one is more suitable for the size, uh, the odd size, at, uh, the size record yang besar. For example, like macam pete dan sebagainya. Uh, okay, the next one is mixed media storage cabinet. It's a combination. Okay, as you can see here, they have a combining on the tape in front. This is a book. This is a tape. All right. And uh, this mark on the folder file. Alright. A portable open bin file is move movable. At which it actually like uh, is like a drawer. But it can be moved and is uh, open. Okay. Dia tak ada pen tutup. Alright. And number three. After you have uh, look into the your need. Uh, and number two on the availability. So you need to look into the cost. Okay, the cost here is takes uh, in the three forms. Number one, you need to do a cost-benefit analysis, okay, which is the process you determining the relative advantages and the disadvantage of an alternate solution to a problem. You need to look, do a cost-benefit uh, cost-benefit analysis melihat kepada apa kebaikan dan keburukan sesuatu equipment yang you decide for. Alright, and not only how uh, that is actually will help you to do a justification on the cost involved. Alright, uh, without having the cost benefit analysis, okay, 
uh, cost benefit is maksudnya apa kebaikan dia okay it will cost it cost you apa keburukan dia contohnya dia mempunyai masalah contohnya masalah space so you can buy with the other one uh, so bila buy with the other one that will be the cost involved as well so you can just stay fight on the cost involved and in the timely uh, timely reminder that business aspect of fair return on the dollars in, it invest so the third elements uh, been highlight here is regarding on the cost bila kita sebut pasal uh, business or company okay whatever they buy they want to know what are the return on investment that that they want they can get okay return on investment maksudnya apa yang dilabuhkan dia nak tahu apa yang dapat pulangan even though of buying the storage itself okay so here uh the other informations that you can gather on how to store on the informations on the storing or the other uh, types or the other forms of the records okay you can have a look on the possible genes book textbook okay on page uh, 234 until 237 which is uh, many other types of record that must be held under control program because they are vital to the success of operations of the department or the entire organization. Maksudnya, ada sesetengah record tu, dia tak dalam keadaan bentuk file ataupun folder. Okay, it can be the other form. Contohnya macam CD. Uh, itu CD. Okay, contohnya CD. So, you need to uh, analyze what are the storage that suitable for uh, store the CD. Dan macam mana cara nak retrieve dan sebagainya. So the other example will be catalog, directories, large and odd size record. Okay, large and odd size record maknanya record tu berbeza size. Okay, mixed media. So uh, you might have a look on this uh, slide. Okay, I'm not going to highlight this one. But um, catalog and directories which is, uh, they've been used in many organizations. For example, catalog. Contoh catalog berbeza size. Okay, dari, uh, so usually people will have the mark uh, daripada katalog ni daripada company mana uh, Numbers and also the subject So large and old size record ni contohnya macam uh, pelbagai bentuk Contohnya macam map, okay, peta, ada peta besar, ada peta kecil right? Dan sebagainya, even print out, uh, print out uh, document pun akan berbagai bentuk Somehow A4 size, ada A, uh, A3 a2 dan sebagainya and lastly it, uh, and the, uh, the specific uh, apa ni sesuai dia kalau untuk large and all record dia prefer file flat, flat files yang saya tunjuk tadi dengan suspension file and lastly is mixed media filing equipment in which the combinations of record media is stored in one location maksud dia uh, not only okay uh, tadi kita sebut pasal peta peta okay peta ada banyak size so tapi satu tempat peta Tapi kat sini mix media ni not only dia bukan peta saja dia ada benda lain contohnya macam blueprint dia ada uh, apa lagi dia ada print out uh, dokumen okay, dia ada bercampur okay, kenapa bercampur sebab mungkin bilangan dia tak banyak so dia kena ada satu tempat yang sesuai untuk pelbagai jenis media okay, contoh dalam bentuk not only color tapi yang size lah yang saya mention tadi alright so uh, looking into the needs, the availability and also the cost okay, is very important untuk awak tentukan uh, your company tentukan supply mana yang suitable dan juga equipment mana yang sesuai untuk dibeli dan digunakan okay, somehow when kita beli dan kita pakai baru kita akan tahu uh, orang kata kesesuaian dia that's why when you want to invest first to buy all these kind of the equipment and supplies you need to look into uh, kesederhanaan. Afterwards, when you have to use it and then you know uh, kegunaan dia, then you can invest uh, more about it. Okay, that's all from me for chapter number four. I know it's a quite long. Okay, we've already wrapped up. For, uh, we already done for chapter number four, which is 4.1 on the indexing, 4.2 on the cross-reference, and 4.3 regarding on this equipment and supplies and also the other procedures regarding on the filing procedure okay i hope you will uh you it will help you to uh to understand better on this subject okay with that with that thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh